So the quickest way to use a uh, echo loading system is to use those moment index from the figures in figure 10. So all you do is you would go here and you grab the weight of each item in each station. You go over here, you get the weight, you come across, you meet, okay, how many, how much weight have we got in the forward compartment? Boom, work it out. That's, you know, for example, if you had 50, uh, 50 kilos, then that would be around about, say, six or seven uh, moment index units, right? Then you do the same for the fuel, then for the, the passenger and, uh, sorry, the pilot and co-pilot in, or passenger in row one, do it for row two, row three, do it for any aux fuel, do it for your wing compartments, and then do it for your rear cargo compartment. Then what you do is go back a page or two in the document and tally it up like so. Make sure that you find out what your weight and what your index units are for your zero fuel weight, and then you want your takeoff weight as well, and your landing weight. Of course, remembering that all three of those need to be within the, the like forward of the aft limit and behind the forward limit for it to be safe for the entire flight, no matter what happens right down to when you are completely out of fuel. So what you're going to do is record a chart like this. You're going to put all your weights here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add up your zero fuel weight. You're going to put it in your main tanks. That's going to give you a takeoff weight. Then you're going to do your fuel burn and then your landing weight. You're going to then refer to figure 10 and get the moment index for each of those. Once you have those, you can tally them up for your zero fuel weight. You can then add the, um, the fuel, the moment index units for your fuel and the moment index, take off the moment index units for your fuel burn during the flight. So then what you need, you need these three numbers, so all the ones in bold, and you need both of these numbers here for, for each. And then what you do is you come over to your uh, figure 11 from your loading calculations, and you're going to plot each of those. So when we plot the zero fuel weight, it was like 2490 or something versus, say, 6. 64 it's there the landing weight was going to be 2610 and that must have been about 684 or so and then the takeoff weight was 699 and 2690 so you can see here that when we take off and when we land we're going to be well within our center of gravity envelope and even if we ran all our fuel, so we're going to take off here as we burn fuel, it's going to go through to there. And if we kept burning fuel, we're going to end up with our weight and balance approximately there. So at all times, we're going to be within the safe flight envelope or our safe center of gravity envelope for this flight.